Welcome to the demo of Quick Start OBI EE Reporting for Oracle eBusiness Suite, presented by me, John Hendrickson, the president and founder of Measure IT. The following video was real, a real installation of Quick Start Reporting products on an Oracle EBS Vision instance. If you've ever worked with Oracle's Demo Vision instance, then you'll understand that if live reporting can work on this data set, then it'll work on just about any environment. There's plenty of data in this environment to test query performance and more operating units and general ledgers than in any environment most people will encounter. Uh, this install took 15 minutes from installing the reporting views to loading a blank OBIE environment with the quick start reports and dashboards. Let's give you a quick demonstration of uh, the system that I used to do this demo. Um, the specs go something like this. I'm leveraging Oracle OBIEE, long term is Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, uh, version 11.117, pretty new version. Uh, it's using a Oracle Applications version 12.13 vision environment, uh, running on a virtual machine with not very much RAM associated with it, so tough to get performance out of that, but you won't notice in the reporting. Um, the operating system, it's all installed on a Windows Server 2012 R2. And the hardware, I'm not technical, you can read this yourself, but basically it's a small um, Intel PC with one, uh, a four core CPU, 3.2 gigahertz, and, and more importantly, 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is actually a nice number. So let's take a quick look at the demo and uh, see how it goes. Thank you. So initially on the screen, what you see is I have Oracle OBIE uh, opened. Just kind of showing you a couple of the overview dashboards that you get with a prepackaged implementation of OBIE. Um, going to query a couple of the dashboards. Um, it's all coming from sample data that Oracle provides. This is the light sample data version. Uh, there's a heavier sample data version, which is a great place actually to get a lot of good ideas for reportings and dashboards and things you want to create down the road with your data. But uh, those are those are pretty cute, um, nice dashboards, a lot of great styles and different samples in there for you to play around with once you're comfortable with OBIE. So I'm going to log out and I'm go, going to go out to SQL Developer and I'm going to install all of the reporting that will be the foundation for the Quick Start for uh, Quick Start reporting for Oracle e Business Suite. Uh, so the reporting is view based, so you can see it's installing the views on the Vision database instance that I have running on my personal server. And the view installation for all, there's I think 72 views in total, took 18.6 seconds. So you can compare that to a BI applications project where you're doing uh, financials or procurement or project analytics. Um, they take a little more than 18 seconds. Um, to be fair, um, yeah. well, not to be fair, I guess. That's not fair. It shouldn't take more than 18 seconds to install all this stuff. Uh, so next I'm going to go into the repository. And what I want to do is here show you, I started with the sample app that comes with Oracle pre-built for OBIE. Um, and I'm going to install over the top of that, or in place of that, the uh, catalog, um, or should I say the repository that comes with the uh, Quick Start reporting. So this will include all the metadata within the OBIE repository setups, um, physical layer, logical layer, and the business model. Or, or the presentation layer. The presentation layer is what a user sees, so that's um, that's where all the magic happens. So um, during the install, this took about five minutes, um, starting and stopping the BI servers and uploading your files. So I, that's where I cut out most of the time in the video. Um, but this is a quick sample of what you'll see when you're an enterprise manager and you're loading up a new repository. Pretty straightforward installation procedure for updating OBIE. Um, compliments of Oracle and the updated of features in their 11G version. So once we get uh, the new repository loaded, we restart the BI servers. This took a couple of minutes in reality. I chopped that out too. Um, once we get there, we are going to um, jump into OBIE and see what that um, updated repository or, or setups will look like. Um, what you get at this point are the ability to write reports on the views that were installed in the, in the dashboard or the database. Um, so I'm just logging in with a, a core user, WebLogic. Once we get logged in, we'll just take a quick glance at, at what you get from scratch when that is installed. Primarily, you're just going to be able to write new reports um, on the views that were installed. So if I click on New Analysis, you can see all of the subject areas across the modules that are included with Quick Start. 
So that's um, fine and dandy, but wouldn't it be nice to get some sample reports across each one of those modules? Well, let's take and uh, add some sample reports. Right here, I am just uh, unarchiving the um, archive versions of the reports by module. Um, this will include reports and dashboards, um, several samples for each module included in the reporting suite. So you can see I'm uploading the accounts payable catalog, as it's called. What this includes are the dashboard components and the sample report components for payables. Once payable is done, we'll do receivables. Then I'm going to skip forward a little bit and do the last one on the list, which was revenue and cost of goods, which is a, a very, very cool optional module. And now you can see we have all of the catalog items installed. And now you have reports and dashboards already available for you to run. So first, let's just jump over to a payables dashboards real quick. Hit dashboards, click payables, and run it. This one actually is running in real time. A um, couple of samples, just payable summary. Show me my uh, detail of my payables invoices out there. And on the right-hand side is just an aging. You know, how much do I owe? Who do I owe? And when do I owe it? Simple reports. You can notice I also have just a few other detailed reports of the subject areas available in payables. Um, here's the order management dashboard. Same as payables. Similar look and feel. Going to run you a couple of reports to give you a look and feel. Um, and then there's some other sample dashboard uh, reports, order shipping details, back orders, etc. Let's cruise over to another, another dashboard just for giggles. Which one is next? So you notice um, um, when, I, when I do the sample reports, I try to give you more than you typically need for a given report just to give you a feel for you know, what's out there and, and what can I do. Um, the uh, fixed assets example, they're kind of wide. Generally, your, your reports won't be that wide when you do them in production, but tweak them. Modifying these reports is extremely simple. So you can see I've even included the, the links at the bottom of each report. You can modify it right from the dashboard if you are a user with uh, the right permissions. Um, the next dashboard on the list it's project accounting or purchasing, I should say. You'll notice the, the content for purchasing, um, PO header lines and distributions, the pro report that's running right now. Um, pretty straightforward. Tell me the PO as I have. If you notice the prompts at the top two, these are all the selection criteria. Uh, it's totally customizable for you, but how, how do I want to search for POs? Um, those are all of the options available to you. Um, well, I shouldn't say all of them, just a good selection of them. Um, uh, fully customizable by by any user with um, with mild mild OBIE skills. It doesn't take much. Just a quick show of all the subject areas um, that are available with Quick Start Reporting. Um, take a quick look, pause your screen at your leisure, um, and get ready to ask some questions around. Hey, what content does this have for me, and how does this uh, help me get up and running for my operational reporting?